Hey guys, it's Joel here again, and today we're going tide pooling once again. This giant rock. There's a seagull perched up up there. And here there's a bunch of turban snails. Is that a sea urchin I see? There's a baby anemone right there. Let me grab one actually. There it is. Turban snail. Hermit crab find right there. Awesome. There's a baby anemone right there too. Oh, a bunch of anemones. Beautiful piece of macro. Here's another macro algae there. Wow. Look at all these limpets, baby limpets. Growing right here. Wow, look at this guys. Macro algae is growing on it. That's so cool. There's so many of these. The reason that macroalgae actually grow around here is because we live like right next to a kelp forest and unlike tropical areas, uh, there's actually a lot of nutrients in these waters, higher levels of nitrates and such as uh, organisms such as algae use that to grow. And yeah, that's why there's so many. Let's see if there's anything underneath this macro. Probably a bad time to do, try it. It's the sand blew everything I can't even see. But man, there are a lot of limpets. The thing about these animals in the intertidal zone is that they have to adapt to constant changes and fluctuations in things like temperature, salinity level, um, you know, things like that. Because sometimes when uh, it's really hot and the water evaporates from the tide pools the salinity salinity will lower wow look at this anemone now the water's lowering and look at this guy completely out of the water this is what these guys have to go through in the tide pools because the conditions are really harsh and they have to search for food things like that there's a little anemone right there and a limpet baby anemone living right there this is so cute i feel like they're spawning right now maybe because i've been seeing a bunch of baby ones down there let me see if i can get a better look but man there are a, a lot of anemones there's a california mussel another anemone here comes a tide i'm gonna be right back there's another anemone really pretty one Ooh. Yep. Another anemone. Here's another anemone. We have another one right next to it. That's really cool. That one's really awesome. Grayish. There's another anemone. A hermit crab. California mussel that attached itself onto here. There's a hermit. Guys, look at this. This is my first time ever finding a chitin. Or ch chitin? Chitin? There it is. Related to mollusks, because they have that shell plate right there. It's a really cool find. Guys, look at that. It's a little rabbit. Can't, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's right there. Oh, he's a little, 
he has a friend with it or she but wow just stumbled upon it i'm gonna let you go look at how well camouflaged it is all right guys i guess i'm gonna call it a day this was just a really short video but yeah so that was most of what i could find a bunch of macro algaes and uh anemones limpets i found the chitin for the first time that was really cool i've never seen one of those but yeah i hope you enjoyed if you want to see more videos like this please make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye